This is also one of the most difficult to find. That's Rhodesian Armed Forces. Rhodesian? <laughs> wow. Yeah, before it was Zimbabwe. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this is Look at this one. Hey guys, so it's five o'clock in the morning. We are on our way to Hanover. There's a little museum, rugby museum over there, owned by Barry called the Waterhole. Let's go check it out. Entering the museum, you get the impression of some historical rugby treasures. The museum slash private pub is owned by Barry Nodia, who has been collecting since 1974 as a 10 year old boy. Before interviewing Barry, I had a look around and I was in awe at the amazing things in his collection, comprising mostly out of jerseys from all over the world. But here's what Barry had to say about his own collection. How many jerseys are here? What do you have? How much of everything is here? Yeah, about a hundred jerseys displayed at the moment, out of a collection of about, I suppose, 400 odd. 400? Yeah. And anything yeah. else you have in here? I have uh, in excess of 100 blazers, and uh, I collect rugby wines, uh, ties, uh, photographs, badges, anything to do with rugby. Okay, so you are a full-on collector. What is your day job? I'm a farmer. You're a farmer, <laughs> and the rest of the time you just you're just collecting, getting this by donations, or how do you get most of your jerseys? Uh, most of the jerseys are by no, by donations. Okay. Uh, some you have to buy. You okay. know, there there is a market in in jerseys okay. and stuff. They be memorabilia. What what was your most difficult thing to find in here? Uh, probably the jersey of Transkai. Transkai. Yeah. Difficult one. And which is your most favorite? I've got a lovely jersey from 1964, Springback jersey, which is really difficult to find because I played in 63 and 64 in a different badge. Wow. So it was a difficult one to collect. Right. And I've been going through some of your photos. I've been going through albums and everything. <clears throat> You've had quite a few Springboks and quite a few famous rugby players over here. Which ones are the ones that really stand out? And so people will probably know best is Peter Rousseau, who they call Slap Chips. Uh, or Krieger, who was a Springbok captain. And then, of course, Chester Williams, who is a personal friend of mine. What a legend. So, and the vet Barry, sorry. The vet Barry Before as well. I about Barry. <laughs> no, he's also a legend. So the place's name, where does that come from? The waterhole? Uh, the place is was actually a reservoir. <clears throat> is there anything else that you maybe still need? Something that you really want to collect? Yes, there are quite a few things. But <laughs> probably on top of my list would be uh, a Springbok jersey from pre-1938. No. Because it, it had the, the shield around the badge. And that I, I would love to add to the collection. After the interview, I also got the opportunity to see Barry's favorite jerseys. This is also one of the most difficult to find. That's Rhodesian Armed Forces. Rhodesian? <laughs> wow. Yeah, before it was Zimbabwe. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> This is Look at this one. This is probably, you know, value wise. Yeah, value wise. This, and it's signed as well. Yeah. The, this is, uh, you know, from the 97 tour. But look how lovely they've made these things. It's got a watermark on it. So wow. you, you can't make a replica out of it. This was Andre Fenter from Bloemfontein. Oh, okay. That's his jersey against the British Barbarians. And that's Andre Pollard's jersey from... Andre Pollard's jersey? Yeah.
Yeah. This is the Wade Barry's jersey from the 2003 World. Those tight fitting things. Yeah. This was this was Peter Rosales number 14. That, wow. You know when he played for them. Barry also has a North Eastern Cape collection, which he started when the Union was disbanded to pres to preserve its history. Not only does Barry have 400 jerseys and 100 blazers, but he also has a 2500 book collection of guys like Johnny Sexton, Johnny Wilkinson and Brian O'Driscoll. And he has also co-authored his own book. What a great collection guys, I would never stop going through it. There's so much things to go through, I just couldn't stop but unfortunately I had to break myself free from there. But if you want to check out anything more, you can find his link in the description for his Facebook page. He does post something basically every day, so do check that out. He is a very nice guy, so if you want to also visit the museum, you can let him know on, the, on his Facebook page and he will help you out. Cheers. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,